test for us but please guys change it then we're gonna put on the connection name exile don't worry about this name like it's not the name we're gonna use in Navicat or anything but I'm just choosing exile to make it easy it's like a session all right and now we're just gonna go and open an SQL script all right this SQL script is in the folder I gave you. In my case, I put it in the desktop. It's this one, right? You see all of this, right? Well, it's going to create a database, as you can see. It's going to create a database if it doesn't exist already. And it's going to set your SQL mode in no auto value in zero. We will talk about that later, but for now, we're going to put it like this. We're going to execute it. Should be done by now. All right, and it did everything we need. So now we're gonna refresh and boom, you got your Excel database. Isn't that cool? Nice, let's go. And now in Navicat, if we refresh it, you see that we got an Excel database with players and all the tables we need to manage our server. Isn't that cool? All right, so now we got the database working now we're almost set we're almost ready to go so as you can see in here there's a full like a file called start.bat well we're gonna see what that file does it just makes things very easy for you guys so now we're just gonna go in our arma3 server files and we're gonna look for that file you see that start.bat well we're gonna see what it says it's basically gonna start arma and tell Arma, okay, the config files are here. You need to execute these files, use these files to make the config of the server. All right. So now what we're gonna do is see what those config files say. All right. We're gonna edit them with Notepad, and this one is pretty much putting random stuff. We we're not gonna touch this one, but then this second one that's the important one it's gonna have your admin pass and your icon pass be sure nobody has those passwords because they can log in as admin in your server and mess everything up or get the icon and mess everything up all right you don't want people to know that all right perfect so now we're pretty much good to go we're almost done all right so now we're gonna go in our Excel server and we're gonna edit xdbconf.ini and we're just gonna edit with notepad all right so now as you can see we got some passwords going on uh, this one is for remote access I would put something you know I'm just gonna put test you put whatever you want in there oh let's put test like this all right then we got this, all right? Excel is going to use your database. So basically, you need to tell the game to use this database, which is named Excel, that you got in Navicat already open. And it's named Excel, all right? This name is not important. This name is, is very important. So you're going to tell your game to use this database and then to use your username, which is root and then your SQL password. Remember that I put a test, but you need to put your SQL password in here. The rest is, just don't touch it, all right? <laughs> it's pretty simple. <laughs> all right, now we're almost done. What I would do is try if the server works, all right? We're gonna try it out and see what happens. So now we got the server running, as you can see, it says game started. Now we're gonna execute Arma. If you got Steam, um, I would recommend use the launcher. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You basically create a profile, say an Excel mod. You just put it to use Excel, and you play the game. You launch the game, and it loads. <laughs> Nothing crazy. All right, so now we're gonna wait for Arma to initialize.
All right, we're gonna hit play, multiplayer, it's on LAN. Now we're gonna double click our test server. It's gonna load, put us in the lobby. I won't expect it to work. Uh, you're gonna see a problem that pretty much, I would say more than 50% of you guys are gonna have this problem, but I will show you how it looks so you guys know how to fix it. So we're just there receiving data. I got the mission PVO already, so I'm not gonna download the PVO in the game again, but you guys are probably gonna have to download it. That's gonna say downloading PVO, blah, blah, blah. All right. So now it's gonna be loading. Take some time. You know, it's a complicated mod. All right, and it tells us you can choose your character location. I'm just gonna keep Kabbalah and see what happens all right we got the problem requesting bambi character this problem took me at least a day to fix i was like what is going on i tried looking in the internet people were saying yeah it's a strict mode but i was like yeah but what is a strict mode how do i disable it all right it's pretty easy to disable it like it takes no big deal whatsoever you're just gonna use run then type C two points program data click it boom done you go to my SQL my SQLs are 5.6 and you see this little thingy all right you can edit it with notepad and the important part is this little fucker all right this little line is gonna be the difference between your server working on your server not working so I would change it <laughs> all right we'll see how to change it and what we need to put there all right so we're gonna just put this no auto create user we're gonna disable strict table shit and we're gonna leave it how it is just like this all right nothing else I'm gonna save it and now we need to restart the machine so the changes apply I would like you maybe if you right click on this and you restart it it may work I'm not doing it like that I like fresh restart I got an SSD maybe you just can log off and log in again I don't know I just do it this way it works be right back alright so I'm back from the restart we're gonna start Arma 3 server with our batch file and let it load and we're gonna start Arma with the launcher all right a very important thing guys I would suggest you wait for the server to be like completely fully restarted like for the server to be fully loaded until you join because if you join before it's loaded uh, it's gonna put you like on receiving waiting for server uh, to load or something like that and it's not an error with anything, it's just that you enter way too early. So I would just tell you, don't enter the server too early. Let it load for about three to four minutes, All right? So there we are. Gonna join the mod. Take some mod test server again. We're gonna go hit OK. It's gonna load the mission. There we go, we're gonna choose our location. And boom, there you got guys. There you got your amazing server running perfectly fine. Maybe this syncing a bit, I don't know. Oh, there we go, yeah. So there you go guys. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, it may be a little bit long compared to the other ones but uh i just wanted to cover it, everything because i saw some tutorials that just don't cover the last part especially in well basically guys there you go uh you're free to subscribe i may post some videos in excel mod uh doing some cool stuff doing some missions and other stuff and if you guys want to join the server just hit the link in the description below for our website and you can play in there whenever you want so Hope you guys enjoyed it and 
until the next one.